Okay, right, a little bit right there. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay. okay. put it apart, okay. put it apart. Oh, yeah, Ow. sweetheart. Okay, all right. Okay, we're here. Where's here? You're at the Steve W. Shepard Theater, home of the Fredericksburg Theater Company. We're Wes and Tammy Pack with Absolute Charm, and we're here to show you all the fun things to do and places to visit in Fredericksburg, Texas. This is your all-access pass to everything Fredericksburg, from diners and dives to award-winning wineries, unique boutiques, and good old-fashioned small-town festivals. On a big city scale. This is our life. This is our story. This is Fredericksburg, Texas. Okay, a right, little bit right there. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay. okay. put it in park, okay. put it in park. Oh, yeah, Ow. sweetheart. Okay, all right. Okay, we're here. Where's here? You're at the Steve W. Shepard Theater, home of the Fredericksburg Theater Company. I'm Kerry Goff, the artistic and technical director for the theater company, and you are on the set of Driving Miss Daisy, our season 20 finale. I cannot believe it has been 20 years. It's been 20 years. There's a lot to see here, so let's take a tour. Let's do it. I still got a little whiplash from that parking episode you just did, honey. Sorry. Backseat driver. Uh, I know, okay. <laughs> well, Carrie, uh, tell us a little more about the theater company. Well, we were founded in 1997 by Gerald Hoover, but we bounced around a lot. We've been in this facility for 10 years, but we're a nonprofit community theater, and we really service not just Fredericksburg, but we service the greater Hill Country, providing plays, musicals, and special events. I heard that actually you were kind of getting an award recently about the whole area. Well, we were voted best theater Broadway World San Antonio, so the San Antonio region, which includes Kerrville, Bernie, Fredericksburg, and all of San Antonio, we were named Best Theater, along with other, other great awards like Best Designer, Best really? Musical, Best Director. We kind of cleaned house. If this is Fredericksburg, you know, we promise to always take you behind the scenes, show you a little something you wouldn't see otherwise. Everyone at FTC thinks that that beautiful set they see and all that production just magically comes together, but we are behind the set here in the... Scene Shop. This is really where the magic happens. Okay. We build all of our scenery here, props, we house costumes in here. We're currently working on the Guys and Dolls set. Behind you, here's the plans. Got a lot of cool things going on. Lots of really intricate things that happen here. They really are. I mean, how, who does this for you? Do you well, have volunteers or we, do you bring we, people in? We do bring people in to design. Okay. We had a really, really big set when we did Hello Dolly. Lots of stairs. Hello Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Oh, it's so nice to see you oh, back <laughs> again. <laughs> Hi. Look at my serpent stick here, or something like that. I gotta say, wearing a costume sure gets you into character. And that's what it's all about, actually, is getting into character and understanding character when it comes to the theater company. But. A side of you I've never seen, honey. I know. I know. I, 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 see, I see a couple drills and a, uh, a miter saw over there, and I think I need to get back into my real character. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the costume shop now. There is over 10,000 articles of clothing from shoes, hats, vests, pants, beautiful gowns. There's a lot of money in here. There, there is a lot, a lot of funds that have been dedicated to costuming over the over the 20 years we've been doing it here. What would you say is the most expensive costume set production you've done? Well, for sure Beauty and the Beast is about a $40,000 show, minimum. Wow. Minimum. Wow. And other plays, when you're doing something like Driving Miss Daisy, that's going to run between ten dollars and $20,000. That's fantastic. So <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's Wes! You look great in that, man. I know. Yeah. I this know. is the beast's head right here. It's heavy. And, and what, you are very beastly. I thought I had a heavy noggin, but this thing makes you... <laughs> Jeez. This are you getting sweaty in there, baby? Yeah, I like a harm. <laughs> I so, think other people have sweated on that, too. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the beast's head, but there's a lot of other items. We did Wizard of Oz, which you were in back yes, in 2007. And we have that collection also. And those were designed by professionals that came on site and really? designed for us. Some of them from Austin. Uh, but volunteers were really <laughs> instrumental. <laughs> I got her. <laughs> volunteers were very instrumental in putting it all together. We have over 200 volunteers here at the Fredericksburg Theater Company. It's, it's really an amazing story. For a town of 10,000 to have 200 volunteers, that's 2% of the population that's volunteering crazy. here. That's crazy. So, do, you ever, do you ever like lose props at all? Well, when people play with them, we lose them. Well, you know, this serpent 
staff who would be cool to walk around town with. You know? <laughs> well, Go show up. So, so you know? if this shows up, hi, welcome to shows. Fredericksburg. Oh, you're gonna know. <laughs> Fredericksburg Theater Company has been a big part of our family's life for a long time. We got sucked in because the kids were doing dance and they needed dancers in a production. Next thing you know, the whole family has the fever. But it's a great way to spend time with the family since the kids are going to be up here anyway. My favorite production was, of course, Wizard of Oz because I played Glinda. I have some really good memories from doing that. Um, the first night, of course, it's always opening night, right? We have this big green platform and I'm in Stiletto Hills in this big huge dress and I'm supposed to climb up on this platform in my heels with 40 children, munchkins, around me. And of course, they had accidentally forgotten to lock down the wheels. So I take one step and I can tell if this is a skateboard. This is a gargantuan skateboard. So I'm like, but if I don't get on it, I think the kids will be too confused with the blocking. So I step up and I'm like, come out, come out wherever you are. And uh, somehow or another, I didn't break my neck. So that was a good day. Um, another day, we had a big flying rig they brought in from Las Vegas, so I literally came in on the pink flying bubble through the sky, got a little fast that night, and they whacked me into the side of the stage. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go with it, stay in character. So I get out, I straighten my head, and I'm like, oh, oh dear, oh darling, <laughs> oh. Everybody just loved that. You know, I find in theater, the, sometimes the things they like the best are when you make the boo-boos, so that was a good one. Third best memory was whenever the fire, uh, the pyrotechnics they had when the witches would come in, you know, everything goes off, and it caught the stage on fire. Just a little fire, but I'm up here going, how bad is this going to get before we have a scene change? I'm going to have to do something. So staying in character again, I start going, Charlie, Charlie darling, the munchkins are frightened. We need your assistance on the stage, Charlie darling. He comes out with a big broom and starts swatting out the fire. So uh, I think that was another crowd favorite. But uh, seriously, it's a great way to spend time with your family and friends. Uh, you get to know a lot of people in the community. So if you've ever thought of volunteering or just coming to watch, there's no better bang for your buck in this town than Fredericksburg Theater Company. Well, we've had a fun day here at the uh, Fredericksburg Theater Company, and I'm here with Steve Riley, who is the executive director of the Fredericksburg Theater Company. Steve, what does an executive director of the theater do? Well, I'm in charge of making sure all the bills are paid. Okay. Um, and then I also uh, produce all the productions that we do. I'm the guy that makes sure that uh, all the shows are meet budget or under budget. I make sure that they're all marketed properly. And um, that's pretty much it. Well, and, and Kerry Goff, he gave us some really good information about how some of these productions cost tens of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Where does some of that money come from to pay for that? Well. Uh, some from our box office, but a, a large majority of it comes from our donors. Uh, we have maybe about 80% of our income coming from box office and the donations of uh, people here in Fredericksburg. Steve, if people want to support the Fredericksburg Theatre Company, what should they do? Well, there's two ways they can support us. They can support us financially by becoming a donor um, or underwriting one of our productions, or they can volunteer. Um, most of our uh, support comes from people within the community that volunteer for our productions. And we have everybody that uh, from painting and building scenery and costumes to uh, putting up posters and helping with the marketing, working the box office, ticketing. Uh, if you have a talent, we have a place for you here at the theater. Oh, good. Now, if someone wants to buy tickets, season tickets, what are they, how do they go about They that? go to our website, fredericksburgtheater.org, or they can call our 888 number, which is 888-669-7114. Steve, thank you so much for letting Tammy and I come over and understand a little bit more about the Fredericksburg Theater Company. Uh, you're welcome, Wes. You uh, have a good day. Hey, uh, just a moment. Uh, is that one of our props? Mm. Yeah. Um, it's the serpent staff. I think we may need that. Well, I'm just going to return it. Uh, how about now? I'm going to make carry out for it. Um, you yeah. can just leave it with me. Well, I'll, I'll make no, I think you should leave it with me. Honey, let's go. <laughs> going to make carry. Let's go, Let's go ahead. Oh. What did you do to yourself? I'm just what? trying. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, what's hey. up? Yeah, yeah. Hey. What? What's up? Is that your prop? What, what were you talking about? Are you kidding me? Yeah, right here, right here, right here. Oh. oh. Yeah. oh I'm so going to need that for, for the, for the so show. Do <laughs> you need help? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's, it's, it's the serpent stand. All of it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> just, just, yeah, there we go. Uh, that's great. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, okay. See you later. Sorry about that.
about that. Thank you, Carrie. Appreciate y'all. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs>